Good morning, friends. Good morning. We're at a pumpkin patch. It's a beautiful day. It is blue skies and 75, and there are sunflowers, and we are going to come home with more pumpkins than you know, Mo. <laughs> really? Yeah, lots oh, of pumpkins. Did you guys hear that? Yeah, like uh, a whole front steps lined with pumpkins even. Really? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> That's exciting. It's a lot of pumpkins. Oh my gosh, I just noticed they have wheelbarrows. Bar barrels. Everywhere. They're everywhere. I think this is this is what you call a pumpkin pick and patch. Oh. I'm feeling actually really anxious this morning. I don't know why I feel nervous, but for some reason I felt really nervous about going well, to a pumpkin patch. I think it's probably because when like it's been a while since we filmed it like outside places. Like when was the last time? Maybe I mean, Christmas? Together. Yeah. Yes, getting our Christmas tree. But, I mean, I go out in public and film all the time. It's probably because I'm here, and sometimes I get crabby when we film in public places together. <laughs> That's probably why you feel anxious, <laughs> realistically. Uh, uh, wow. So you know. <laughs> wow. First off, It's Landon, not always easy. He it, said it's, he It's hard work, and <laughs> sometimes when you're not feeling like doing hard work, you know, like... You, you get annoyed. Mo works really hard, and she does it all the time. And I don't know how, because sometimes I get a little a little lazy. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys! First, he says he wants to get so many pumpkins, like fill our whole front oh. steps with pumpkins. Then he admits to sometimes being crabby while filming, and then he complimented me on how much I work. <laughs> I Thank mean, you. Yeah, we gotta start off on the right foot. Dream guy. <laughs> uh, what is this cheese? This cheese <laughs> is making a good day out of today's filming. Mm. It's <laughs> going to be a great day. Oh yeah, it will. Thanks, Lan. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I actually I really like it. Me too. It's a big guy. It is. All right, let's see you get into the cart. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I can do this. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't think this is like. Portraying how large this is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so big. Oh, this guy's fun. It's all squat and flat. And I he's... love the shape. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> how are pumpkins so cute? I had no idea. That's a fun one. Oh. Spanish day. 
answer. Is this for you? <laughs> it's so big. tried to murder me at the pumpkin patch. <laughs> It'll go viral. We should definitely do this. I miss you, Rue. Look at how cute you are. Oh my gosh. The pumpkin patch was so much fun. I've actually not been to a pumpkin patch in my adult life and I don't think I've ever purchased a pumpkin from a pumpkin patch and I was surprised at how much I enjoyed it and also very surprised to find that I think pumpkins are quite cute or have a lot of character. There were many laughs and I was actually able to enjoy the pumpkin patch but like I said earlier this morning I'm feeling quite anxious when I try to figure out why like what's making me feel anxious I feel like there's two big reasons or two things that I've been thinking about a lot recently and the first of which is I feel like a lot of us myself included are experiencing delayed grief or um, we're finally being able to process the trauma from the past two years which started with the pandemic and just like the total upheaval of everything we considered normal and then everything that's happened since then i think that many of us have been in fight or flight mode and this is the first normal or as normal as we can get right now um autumn or time of year we've had since the start of the pandemic and so it kind of feels like the crash of that fight or flight just survival mode of the past two years for me personally that is and i'm a bit of a workaholic so the way that i coped or the way that i tried to make order of all the chaos we were experiencing was through overworking myself i think in the united states especially we are raised to believe that if we work hard enough we will make it in life it's how our school system works. If you study really well and get good grades, you can get into a good college and get a good job. We are just told to work, work, work. And work is prized over everything else. It feels like we live to work rather than we work to live. And hard work is still really celebrated in our culture. I equated hard work to self-worth and just began working and working and working endlessly. And it's led to a really, really unhealthy work-life balance. And this year, especially just a total upheaval of any routine that I had through getting physically ill multiple times. I've been so sick this year multiple times, not all of which I've mentioned here because I don't like to be dramatic, but yes, physical illness and then just burnout. And again, it could be connected to the return of normalcy. So collectively, I think that we're all just trying to figure out how to do life, how to live again and heal from the past two years now that we have maybe the time or the space. And this fall, one of my priorities is rest. But in doing so, I feel quite anxious because it feels indulgent, it feels lazy, it feels like self-sabotage to not be working so much and so I'm anxious about whatever it is I'm not doing. I think that resting has made me feel like I'm losing control or I'm not in control, but if this year has taught me anything, it's to trust the value of rest. In light of that, I went to the pumpkin patch and had fun with Landon and I just want to read today. I feel the need to get lost in a book and try to calm down more and just really enjoy it. And then of course, food is some of the best medicine and I'd like to make a really hearty autumnal chili tonight for dinner. So I'm just gonna read 
and nourish myself. Perhaps indulgent, there are literally so many other things that I could be doing or that I need to do. <laughs> the sun's disappeared. <laughs> um, there will always be so many things that need to get done or that I should do rather than reading. So if that's a reason not to read, then I would never read. Besides, today is Saturday, the socially acceptable day in which to do whatever you please. So friends, if any of this sounds good to you, go ahead and make yourselves a heartwarming cup of tea, grab your coziest of comfy blankets, the sun's coming back out, um, happy October, and let's get to it. you guys the book is so good so far I think I'm going to love it I don't want to get my hopes up but I think it could be one of my favorite books I read this year so really enjoying that so far I'm also really hungry and as I mentioned before I want to make a chili and scent. I was recently given this cookbook the vegan instant pot cookbook by Nisha Bora and there's this three bean vegetable chili recipe that looks incredible with actually quite interesting ingredients, including cocoa powder and molasses. Hmm. I don't think it's meant to be sweet, but probably pretty earthy. So I want to give it a go. I don't have all the ingredients, so I'm going to need to do some substitutions, but I will list the recipe below. And I'm going to show you everything that I use. I'm going to stack it all right here. So, bon appetit.
finished product. I mean, it doesn't look that appetizing. I'm honest. very excited. It smells <laughs> incredible. And then I crunched up some tortilla chips. We have some vegan sour cream and some vegan cheese to go on top. I'm very excited. Very excited. It's so good. Whoa. Oh my goodness. It is amazing. That flavor. It tastes like chili that was cooked by a professional chef yesterday. You know how chili gets mm. better like the second day? Uh huh. It already tastes like it's on the second day. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. Mmm. Great recipe. Mmm. What do you rate it? I, I honestly give it a, a 9.3. <laughs> oh my god. 9.3. That might be one of the higher. 9.3? And here I thought I was going to get a 10 out of 10. I won't complain. 9.3 is 9.3 is... <laughs> that, and the way I said it too is a little bit lackluster, but like, that's a high compliment. Wow. It's so 9.3, everyone. <laughs> I give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't give 10 out of 10. I stayed up way too late reading this book. I love it so, so much. I only have 50 pages left and I want to finish it this morning. But, oh, I just got lost in it. It is indescribably heartwarming and funny and I'm very excited to finish it, though I don't want it to end. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sit by the window and read the rest of this book and then check in with you guys. So get cozy. I don't want it to end.
five out of five stars. Oh, I loved it. I loved it so, so much. I do very highly recommend The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Songu Mandana. Just the perfect read right now. It is everything that I was craving. I loved the ending. I loved the whole book. The pacing was wonderful. The characters are delightful. I love the use of magic. And I'd say if you like The House in the Cerulean Sea, you may enjoy this book. I think The House in the Cerulean Sea is definitely a step higher, but this was just the perfect comfort read. It's exactly what I wanted right now. Just something to escape into, to enjoy. As I said before, it's just heartwarming and funny. And there is some romance in here. It's the perfect amount of romance. Yes, would definitely recommend. This was the pick for my Patreon book club this month. And I absolutely cannot wait to discuss it with my patrons. What a wonderful way to spend my morning and evening last night. Overall, it's turning out to be a really, really wonderful weekend, despite the anxious beginning. Um, that being said, I am feeling really, really rested and recharged, and it's all about balance, work-life balance. I don't know if we can ever truly reach balance in that regard. It always seems like one is more than the other, but anxiety-wise, I know that I will feel so much better going into the work week tomorrow if I've gotten a few things done that I had hoped to get done last week, but I just didn't have the time. And seeing as it's the start of a new month, I my mind is trying to think of all the things that I need to get done this month, and that causes me anxiety. And something that always helps that is to just get it all out on paper. So I'm going to go ahead and organize my month and plan ahead for this week's work week. And then I'd like to do a few work tasks, but these tasks I really, really enjoy. So I have a second batch of postcard and sticker orders that need to go out tomorrow, and it will feel really, really good to get those all prepped and ready to mail first thing in the morning. Um, and then I also still have my two copies of this book that I need to mail out to two patrons. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap those up and create little gift boxes for my patrons and have them ready to go tomorrow morning. So lightly productive, but in a relaxing, fun way. Sunday scaries are manageable. It's one thing at a time. So friends, let's get to it.
that I've completed today has helped me to feel like I'm piecing my life together. I don't know, I just feel more in control of things and it's a weight off my shoulders. So it's been a very, very nice way to spend the day doing these mundane tasks and this Sunday is much less scary. Our friend James has just invited Landon and I to dinner at his place. So I'm gonna get changed and then we're heading over there for sunset and a bite to eat. <laughs> since I've sat here to film a speaking part. <laughs> like two years nearly, I was watching back my old videos and I can't remember which one it was, but I just sat here on the floor in my bedroom and had a little chat <laughs> with you guys, or monologue rather, and it made me feel really nostalgic. So it's been on my mind ever since. And here we are. Oh, mm, that's good. Just a classic peppermint before going to bed. Oh, almost too hot to drink, but just enough to where I can actually sip it. It's perfect. Ah, well, we have reached the end of the weekend. If you've made it this far, well done. I raise my tea mug up to you. Thank you so much for being here, friends. Thank you so much for caring about what goes on in my life. Seriously, I've been thinking about it a lot recently and it's just truly, I was gonna say remarkable, but truly miraculous. I just can't believe that there are people out there that are interested in how I spend my weekend <laughs> or that enjoy my videos because I know it's just not about me and how I spend my time, it's the art within the videos that I make because cinematography or videography is my passion and it's just so fulfilling to be able to create these videos and have them appreciated by people all over the world. Really, it's just the most amazing thing. And I know you hear me say it all the time, but I just have to continue to say it 
over and over again because I will never stop being grateful for you and I will never stop being in awe of my dream life, of getting to live my dream life. So, again and again, a thousand times over and then some, thank you. I don't know how this video is going to turn out. Overall, it was a really amazing weekend, anxiety and all. And obviously I didn't film all of it, like I really did struggle with anxious, nervous feelings. But spending time with Landon and getting lost in the very irregular society of s No, I always get it wrong! The very secret society of irregular witches. That really helped. It really did help reading that and just spending time with Landon and laughing off some of my nervousness followed by a really, really yummy chili. 10 out of 10. I don't care what Landon says. And then today, making the scary weight of all my to-dos less heavy by writing it all out, unloading everything and seeing that it is possible to do it all in a balanced way. And then checking off some to-dos that felt really good. And of course, dinner at James was wonderful and I'm feeling immensely grateful to be able to have weekends such as this once more. To be out and about, to spend time with friends, and of course, to enjoy fall comforts and cozy foods. How many times do I say cozy and comfort? At this point, I'm just rambling. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cozy up with The Rules of Magic, which is the next book in the Practical Magic series. I read Magic Lessons last year, now I'm reading The Rules of Magic, and next I hope to read practical magic before watching the movie. Um, this coming weekend, so you're watching this on Friday, starting Friday on my Patreon, I'm hosting a readathon or a reading weekend. You can read whichever book or books that you choose and together we're all reading and we're completing a bucket list and having chats on Discord where we can share pictures of our bucket list items and talk about the books that we're reading. Um, I'm excited for that this weekend. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and cozy up with a book again. Thank you so much for being here, friends. Send you all big hugs and sweet dreams. Good night.